All right. Well, this here is flounder. Uh, you get two pounds for like under six bucks. I use this huge bag of Normandy blend, bird's eye, about six bucks with the bag when it's filled. I've got onion, pow onion, granulated onion, granulated garlic, chipotle, and sea salt. I liked using smoked sea salt, but I ran out, and so I'm just using regular sea salt instead. I set the toaster oven for 425 and started preheating it. I already put this down, just, just gonna grab a piece of foil, push it down on all four corners so the sides go up, so none of the, the liquid leaks out. I already sprayed this, but I'll just do it again just for a show. I just spray it. Right now I'm using uh, coconut oil, but sometimes I use olive oil. Right now I'm out of the olive oil, so I'm using that. And I take a piece of the flounder, pop it on there. Before that I was using cod. The cod's really good, but it's a lot it's almost twice as much, so and flounder is still healthy, so and then I just take the uh, the mixed vegetables and just put them around it. They're frozen still. many as I can fit around that. Now your toaster oven might not have a, a pan that's the same size, so... And one more, let's just put it there. Let's put it over here. Alright, and now I'm taking the granulated garlic. Alright, I just take this and basically A little bit more on the fish. Oh, that's a little too much. That's all right. It'll be fine. Do the same thing with the onion powder. Lightly, lightly on this one. Lightly do the... Uh, just enough where you can see just a little bit of speckles of it on, on the tops of most of the stuff. And oh yeah, I didn't, didn't spray the top of this yet. I should have done that first, but it doesn't matter. It, it turns out exactly the same no matter what, so... Get out of here, fly. Had the doors open earlier. And I just... And now the final one is the is the is the salt. Doesn't take much out of this stuff anyway. This is that pink Himalayan pink salt crystals. They uh, it just doesn't take much. And then all I do is put that into the uh, into the toaster oven. I'm going to have this set for 30 minutes. Pop this in here. Wait 30 minutes. Now, I like to cook it for about 30 minutes because it may be just a little under. Because I like the stems of the broccoli and the cauliflower to be not mushy, but, but just soft enough that they're not totally crunchy. If you go for 20 to 25 minutes depending on the size of the stems the broccoli and cauliflower can have, still have a bit of crunchiness and if you like that and if you prefer that then do that. Um, flounder you can get away with cooking for 
uh, you know, any anywhere between the 20 and 30 minutes, and it's fine. Uh, with the cod, the cod can get dried out a little bit if you go for the full 30. So when I do the cod, I make sure that all of the pieces of, of vegetables are smaller. I should have turned this light on from the beginning, but, you know. All right. see what it looks like before I put it on the put it into the bowl I'm going to take this move it upwards take the sides move them upwards as well I take this whole thing and put it into the bowl like that. And I wait a little bit and discard this. And here is the end result. Fish and plankton and sea greens from the sea. No, not that. If you don't know what that's from, that's from Logan's Run. And there we go.